places so last time uh, we get into the mods we have played with only Carlos Arsenal and no AI bonus tech I'm also going to enable that but this time we're going to be playing with Dr. Chromium's updated best theory of cultures to invade and creatures to shoot and also all of the AI fleets that I have and that should be good. Okay. Let's hop into a new conquest. And I have something in mind. First of all, I'm going to turn auto resolve off because, well, I never use it. I'm going to put playing on a huge map size. Difficulty going to be medium. On archipelago, default monsters. Normal research and can have a true tier zero start. Now, and for the arms, we are going to get the crudely drawn dragon. So we're getting cobalts and we get cobalt citizenry. Now, how do I want my thing magic to look? I think this looks quite cool. It's kind of like the duality of cobalts. Now, I think I do want this to be like so, black and white. Alright, let's check one last time. Everything looks alright. Huge map, medium difficulty, archipelago, default monsters, normal research, and a true tier zero start. Let's go. Okay. Well, that was a fail. Uh, I totally forgot to give uh, my nation a name. And since we are playing as kobolds, I'm going to name them after the uh, island where the kobolds in my very own D&D campaign came from. So our nation is going to be called the Storm Spiral. And now we can start the game. Okay. We are in the game. The pause. Oh, right off the bat, we can build a cobalt doom wheel. No idea what that does, but uh, this is an interesting looking map. We got a small nation on our north. Yeah, 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 I get on a way. If there's a way to turn off tutorials, I, have, I haven't found a way to do so. So we got uh, loads of nations on our south. We're kind of in this uh, middle section. I got a bigger city over here. And that's just a very small nation. Oh no, it's actually Chicksell that they just got a kinda like a colony over here. Okay, we are kobolds. What does that mean? First of all, let's get into research. We got our very own research tree at the bottom. We do start off with kobolds, and we can have ornithopters and stilt walkers, flamethrowers, and mecha bolts. So we're going to attempt to complete this first research tree as quickly as possible. So birthright of dragons it is. Uh, yes, I think. First we're going to go to draconic flamethrowers, because... As kobolds, we are small, we are frail, so that's going to reflect on our ships. We want many ships, we want them to be cheap, fast, expendable, and also loads of flamethrowers and rockets. Things that go boom. So let's go into draconic flamethrowers as quickly as possible. We are starting with one ship over here, which we're going to, I don't know, so starting ships, so we're going to Name it into uh, the stolen one. 
kind of funny because it doesn't even have kobolds in it. So, let's uh, design our very first ship. Now, I want something fast and light. And also... Eh. I would have loved a boarding vessel right the front, but I think we need to research that one first. It's gonna be gonna be a little while until we research Ornithopters. And the Stiltwalkers are the borders, but I do want to get flamethrowers as quickly as possible. So let's design ship. We're going to be designing every single ship and land ship and building ourselves. I want to build a light grenade bomber, I think. Kind of like a tower, maybe? I think I like that. Uh, let's go on resources first and put an ammo store in here. And then kind of do it like so. Mm, maybe even kinetic bombs. Sounds like fun. Not quite heavy though, but I think that should work out. And then we need... Command and crew. Cobalt community room over here. Uh, actually, let's put that at the very top. I also need some uh, things in here. Need a bridge. Also doesn't have any way to connect it to the top. Hmm. Okay, so this... Uh, Light and compact design does prove itself to be a little bit more complicated. Not a thick bay, what do I want? A cock? No, a bridge, because I do want to have fast orders. Hmm. Maybe I do want to have only a cockpit. Ammo store in here. A uh, cockpit here. Do I just want sleep corners? Oh no, hold on. Uh, no, the minimum crew was 11. I want to go as minimum crew as I can. So I do want these things to be quite expandable. I think a fire point would be a good idea, but that also doesn't... Uh, that's fine. And then a wooden supply hatch in the dead center. And then I guess just a... Uh, uh, what call it? Just the basic corridor, like so. And now that one is not uh, connected. Hmm. You know what? I think one less grenade shouldn't be a problem. In that case, we could just have. I do, I do want to have muskets. Hmm. But those can only be accessed from the side. What if I do it like so? Nah, that still doesn't change the fact. I guess I should just have to do with one less uh, grenade. And just put... Just a solid... Filler brick in here. Now we need some lift. That is not symmetrical and I hate it. So how about we do that? And then have a large dust tank ladder. Which is not connected. Hmm. Tell you what. Um... How about we take a sail, like so, ah look at those little gobbles, love it, I know this is insufficient crew, of course, um, I 
Okay, one less grenade. And then we'll just have another sleepy corner over here. Yes, that does look good. And then we could even have a crow's nest. I mean, I would love a crow's nest. Hold on. Let me put you over here for a second. And I just have some lift. A small dust tank ladder, maybe? Over here? Like so. Uh, so the ceiling is way too low. Let's have a large dust tank ladder. That's better. Then have it like so. And then have a crow's nest at the very top. Command and crew. Crow's nest to boost the accuracy because grenades are quite inaccurate. Okay, so we got our very first little cobalt bomber. Armor. Wooden armor, I think that is nice. No, I never understood the difference between wooden armor and wooden and uh, steel wall. Ah, it's got more HP, gotcha. So for the early game, I think wooden armor is better. Yes. Does seem like so. Decorations. Of course we should paint it. And I'm going to paint it in blood red. Oh, that does look nice. It's kind of like a brownish. Or shall I put it orange? No, I think I want red. And then kind of have a checkerboard pattern. I think that would look cool. White sail, white middle, and black. Can you paint the. No, I can't. Okay. I do want white sails. White crow's nest? Actually, yeah, that does look nice. And for decorations, you can have a painting. How about an eye? Like so. And then maybe a mouth. Like so. That is so insanely derpy and I love it. I kind of feel criminal if I didn't do it like that. Maybe like that in the front. And then have the eyes like so. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. That is our very first ship done. It is going to be the UDS for Ultimate Despair Ship. Wormling. I'm going to save and build. And I think I can even afford a second one because they are so cheap. No, it's 659. Okay. Now, as for you, uh, similar strength, they are cooperative. What about you, Ignat? No strength, Craven. Easily frightened and bullied. Ooh. Well, in that case... Uh... I think I want to be on good terms with Chicksaw, so I'm going to send them a delegation. They have rejected! Okay, well, in that case, uh... Diplomacy, make ultimatum. How about... Give us tribute. Otherwise, go to war. No? Okay. In that case, I think we're just gonna go straight to war. So I'm gonna send a spy over here. Which I'm going to infiltrate soon. Oh, they, they accepted it? Hold on, didn't it say they refused? Oh, whatever. What ifs? So now we do have a wormling and also the stolen one. Okay, what do they have? You city? Yeah, just one building. What a cool looking building though. Damn. Love the steampunk look. 
Also, I really love the population center because crew maintenance cost. Since we're already gonna have a cheap crew, it's gonna be even better. So, how about we. You there, diplomacy, declare war. Bada boom. And you attack. Oh, they're gonna have somebody intercept. Hmm. We'll see how it goes. Actually, what kind of weapons does the stolen one have? Do you also have grenades? No idea. We'll see. We're gonna send, us send another one. Well, in that case, uh. Damn it. Uh, I'll just. Design another ship. No, not design ship. Uh. Build ship. Let us build another rumbling. And we're gonna arrive before they do. Let's see what the- oh, what the hell is that? That looks cool. Oh, we got a big suspendium chamber? Damn. And they also got deck rifles? Wow, okay. Uh, in that case... Kind of a pathetic service ceiling, but it's also a bombing vessel. Nice. Okay, start. And you immediately going to be doing a uh, little bit of a bombing run over here. Drop the bombs. Or, 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 or don't, you know. No rush. Uh, you are going to move over here. Please don't shave the sail. Please don't shave the sail. Oh, you're not ready yet. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Right, I only gave you a cockpit. Mm. Ah, we'll see. And you're going to go over here. Dropping loads of grenades. Doesn't seem to be dropping the... Oh, I need to manually drop them. Gotcha, gotcha. So how about... Uh, yeah, not having a cockpit, or like not having a bridge is kind of detrimental. And that's also... Mm. Oh well, this is... Uh... I'm still figuring stuff out. Nice, nice, yes, bomb them. Uh, still not ready. Oh, come on, where are you going? You coming back? I hope so. Because in that case... I'm ready for you. Drop him! Neom. That was pathetic, but now the server ceiling should be a lot higher. Either way, it's going down. I'll drop some more, some more grenades on that. Nice, nice. That's what I like. And the wormling can now go over here and besiege. And you as well. Oh, please don't ram or push. I know your kobolds and all, but damn. You're just going to move a little bit higher. And you go here in the middle so you can also drop some grenades from both sides. Nice. And that should be our first victory. Now you're going to focus on firefighting. You don't have water. Forget what I, forget what I just said. Nice. A brutal takeover. Go on. We are the kobolds. You don't need to worry about all that shenanigans. Uh, you don't even have a shipyard, so... No repairing here. But we could take out their capital as quickly as we can. Now, can we build anything here? No. I do want to build Doom Wheel, whatever that is. We do have another Wormling, and the Doom Wheel is, wow, very quick. Okay, whatever that is. Um, I'm going to have the Wormling join up with the force over here, as much as possible. Uh, what do we have? Ignat. Non-aggression pact and a trade treaty. Sure.
Now, what do they have? Oh yeah, they got a, they got a bigger fleet over here, so we are gonna have to build a couple more wormlings. Borotho, a trade treaty. Where are they? All the way to the south? Sure. Oh no, they formed unrest. Whatever shall I do? I'm actually going to station my doom wheel uh, over here. I do want to have my vehicles and my airships kind of separate. What's in your supply ship? Yes. Build that supply ship. And you're going to also rejoin over here once you are fully supplied. Desperate for peace? Nah. They're gonna get annihilated soon. They are weaker than us. Now, what about Wombaton? A weaker isolationist wants to be left alone. Okay. Do they only have this here nation? Well, in that case, I think, uh. I have learning plus 15 research. Oh, I want that. So, how about we build a couple more Doom Wheels? And then just invade them with our doom mills. A trade really from them. Where are they? This nation over here, sure. These doom mills are built so incredibly quick quickly. Also want a trade treaty. These guys, sure. Will boost our income a little bit. Oh, those freaking agents. And now, once they are supplied, which they are, attack Chis a Chixel. Truce, nah. You're going down, friend. In the meantime, I think I can build two more Doom Wheels. And they're just going to absolutely annihilate Tixie. Tixie, or Tixie, whatever you want to. How you want to say it? Now, what do we have here? Okay, they got two of these ships. Oh, this, that's a different variant. They got. Oh, I really like the design they got here. Wow, that's such a cool ship. Uh, loads of rifles, from what it seems like. And also three buildings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Nope, that was the wrong one. I'm gonna move you as far up as possible. And you three are just going to go over here as quickly as possible and then just drop your load onto these buildings. Start. Now, as quickly as possible and as high as you can over here. And you are going to move over here. Do a nice little bombing run on these folds. Yep, just keep following us, keep going into our grenade range. And now, all of you, bombs away! Nice! That actually wasn't terrible. Keep dropping those grenades, boy! Oh, we just dropped on that one. This is actually kind of cool how effective they are. If we can just take this one out of the sky to make it drop onto that one, that would be really cool. I think you can even go lower just so you're a little bit more accurate. Oh, looking on ammo. Nice. Okay. Oh! A stolen one is going down. Oh, well. That's the end of that one. But on the flip side, it did lock these two down. So let us 
destroy the ships first. While they are still entombed by our fallen brethren. Nice. Okay, that's done. And now just finish these off. So for a starting vessel, the Wormlings are quite nice. I like them. And we're making some rapid progress on uh, the side of the island. Or like more like the continent. Victory. We'll take over. Life.